Have you ever wondered about legal fees and how lawyers charge? Well, I'm Shanna Borman here with straight talk and honest advice about family law. And today we're going to talk about exactly that. Lately, my clients have been asking how it is that clients are billed for lawyer time. Well, the big picture is that lawyers charge the time it takes to perform any particular task for their client. So what that means is if there is an activity that's directly related to the client's case and furthering the client's goals, then that activity is a billable activity. So what I mean by that specifically is if a lawyer goes to court, attends mediation, reads documents, prepares an inventory, talks to opposing counsel, even talks to the opposing party if the opposing party doesn't have a lawyer, communicates with the court, researches legal issues involved in your case, or any, any type of time that's involved with processing your file to its completion, we bill for that time. Now, our law firm charges in quarter hour increments. So what that means is if something takes less than seven minutes, we don't bill you for that. But if it takes more than seven minutes, we do. So now let's talk about how people hire law firms. At our law firm, we require you sign an engagement agreement, which hires us as your lawyer and gives us authority to act on your behalf. We also require you deposit an amount into our trust account. A small portion of that amount is non-refundable as our administrative file setup fee. The remainder of that amount is what we call an advanced fee and expense deposit. Now that advanced fee and expense deposit is refundable to the extent it's not used to cover billed time or expenses. Now, we bill every two weeks here at our law firm, so you will be kept abreast of every activity that happens in your case. And frankly, if you look at your bill, you will see the story of our representation from the very beginning until the date that the bill is issued. So you will see every step of the way what happens to further your goals. Now let's talk about the amount of that deposit. Most of the time, if your case is relatively uncontested, the amount of the deposit is sufficient to cover the time and expenses that we incur in representing you. On occasion, however, cases we, in, we think will be uncontested or largely agreed to turn into ugly messes that, frankly, there's no way out of other than fighting and engaging in, a, in litigation tactics with the opposing lawyer. So sometimes the deposit that you make is not enough to, to ensure that all of our fees are paid for. And so at our law firm, we require you to replenish that retainer. Now, why do we do that? We require you to replenish that retainer so that we know that the work that we're performing is going to be paid, but also so that there are no gaps in terms of what we do for you. We have to make sure that we zealously advocate your position and we can't predict everything that's going to happen day to day. So sometimes I like to say that lawyers file loco motions because they're crazy things that the other side asks for. And then we do have to respond even though we're not seeking that relief or we don't want to go to court for that particular issue. And so understand, sometimes we're sucked in to the narrative that the other side or the other party creates, and we have to deal with those things. That's not something that is our doing. It's rather something that we're doing to make sure you are protected. So our goal, again, in all of this is to protect your interests. And if we're not going to be paid for the work that we do, we put your whole, we put your file on hold. And if your file is on hold, we can't take the necessary actions that are required oftentimes to protect you. So our goal, again, is to Make sure you have someone standing between you and the other side so that your interests are protected at every turn. Now, you are the one who makes the decisions about what happens in your litigation in the big picture. So what are the goals? What are we seeking? What do we want to have happen? What is the end result we want? But sometimes we have to engage in litigation we really don't want to have to engage in simply because the other side tees it up. So I always say, you're going to tee it up, we're going to hit it. And that's the thing. We take care of that business and we can't take care of that business if your file is red rubber banded or on hold because you owe the firm money. Well, that's what I have for you today. Hopefully this helped you understand how lawyers bill. So if you have a question about your law bill, whether it's in my law firm or any other law firm, call the accounting department and have them break it down for you. Again, this is Shanna Borman with Straight Talk and Honest Advice. Always here to help you.